realization is like baking a cake. Cake has different layers and all of them work together. If you only take a sponge cake, it doesn't taste so good. You need something else. Maybe some cream, fruits and toppings. If your goal is to create an amazing visualization, you need to think about the image like about this cake. You need all these parts to make it work. We've been sure that 3D artists who make great images don't do this by chance, luck or coincidence. That's why we've spent a lot of years looking for an answer on how to create great images. I am Aga from Arvis Artist and in today's video I'm gonna reveal this perfect visualization recipe for you. Composition describes a placement of visual elements in an image. If you want to create amazing visualization, this is a foundation you have to learn. It is all about putting things in a way that emphasize the parts you want to. Some of the tricks can be used to draw a viewer's attention to particular things. So first, you need to think what is important in your project and what you really want to show, and then use rules of composition to achieve your goal. When choosing the camera angle, we should think as professional photographers. Because most of the time, this is the first thing we do, it is so important to have it right. A lot of times, this part can be the most challenging one. The details, architectural highlights and surrounding context change perception of the image based on the camera angle. Some angles focus on one object, while others show full context of the space. It all depends on the results you want to achieve. Lighting is the most powerful tool to capture emotions. Lighting can change your mood, atmosphere and depth of any visualization. That's why choosing lighting is so crucial during the process of creating an image. There is no scene without the lighting. There is just a black render. By changing the lighting, we change our perception. You may ask me why colors are so important. And here is my answer to this. Colors draw a viewer's attention and guide viewer's eyes to the most important parts. They emphasize their uniqueness and can bring out the message. Colors as the lighting can stimulate emotions and affect the mood. Because the relation between the colors can drastically change our perception, using a proper mix of colors is so important. Besides, some of the colors work great together, they give a pleasant visual reaction, while others give quite opposite effect. It's the next big thing, producing high quality materials. It's not only about the high res textures we're using, it's more about understanding the features of the materials. If you want to create complex materials, you need to be a conscious observer of surrounding world and have to understand how the materials works in reality. After you understand these features, you can easily recreate them in the software. The assets you will choose in the image determine the character of the place. You instruct your viewer who this space belongs to. People who are looking at the visualization should unconsciously know if the presenting space is for them, if they can relate to this place, can find themselves there, they will be willing to live there, work there, or simply spend time there. Adding proper assets is the best way to reach the right customers. And this is what your client goal is, isn't it? <music> 
Stories are absolutely essential in our lives. We all enjoy good stories, whatever it comes from a movie, a novel, or an image. Good narratives make us feel and think, keep us engaged. They stick in our minds, help us remember ideas, and make our ideas more persuasive. At the beginning of an architectural visualization art, the role of 3D artists was simply to help the viewer understand the idea which was created by architect in the form of 2D drawings. Nowadays, it is more about the story that artist says through the image, and architecture by itself is just the background to these narratives. Professional photographers post process their photos, and we as 3D artists should learn from them and do the same. The final output will be much more effective if you do your post production correctly. You can do your post production process in Photoshop or in building frame buffer. You need to be careful though, because it's super easy to overdo this. about this like a mix of ingredients, not a step-by-step -step instruction. It's like baking a cake. You can do everything like in a recipe and at the end you have to improvise a little to make it perfect. Let me know in the comments if you want me to explain to you each of these steps in more detail. Also, if you want to learn more, you can download our free ebook. And if you feel that you should improve these skills, I'd like to invite you to join our Arvis Artist Training, where we cover all of these steps. Okay, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And also, don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe, and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video.